did the first base coat in game color purple and I cut that in half with game color warlock purple. Uh, the purple by itself was just too dark on the black. Then dry brush camo pattern, just randomly kind of placing some banding on the uh, tank chassis. Doing the turret, this is the anti-aircraft tank model for the Scourge Army. Now I am dry brushing the metallic across the bottom sections of the tank chassis. And then across the top. As you can see these models are real easy to, to get painted up pretty nicely in a relatively short fashion. The chassis is done, now I'm doing the aircraft, anti-aircraft guns. They're done, pop back on the top, a little touch up. Here, and sorry for the poor framing on this, uh, sometimes that happens when you get carried away and don't realize you're off frame. Uh, taking a dry, small dry brush and with the metallic gold and doing it across the vents in the vehicle. And last but not least, take the white and put a glop on the end of your brush and just drop it onto the rounded surface of the lights when that's dry. You can go back and add the bright red. If you want to, you could add a little, uh, a little white dot on top of that red to make it look like a, a reflective light. And that's it. That's how you paint a Scourge uh, tank chassis for Drop Zone Commander. Thanks, guys. And as always, please, if you find value here, like and subscribe. Later. Play the Drop Zone Commander demo at Terra Crux Games, 760 Commerce, Tacoma, Washington.